Hi folks, it's Sean McCormack. Welcome to the channel. Again, not quite ready to hit the whole restart fully, but I'm still trying to get a video out every week. So I've got something really short for you. So I'm, uh, this is just an idea of showing you how Lightning Mode works really quickly inside of Photoshop. But we're doing it from Lightroom, and if you have the photography bundle, you have Photoshop and Lightroom. So it's good to start using Photoshop as well as Lightroom. So here I have an image where I put a flash in the hallway and I shot in the hallway. And so that's lighting all of what's going on out here. And then I've brought this flash inside the room to light inside the room. I'm just bouncing the light up into the ceiling, basically, to light it up. And this is on the shadow side of the house, so there isn't that much light getting into the room. So obviously, if I had two flashes, I could do that. But it's as quick to set up one flash and then move them because of how quick this is to do. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go and edit. Actually, let me not be in screen flow. Um, Photo edit in, uh, I'm sorry, photo edit in, <laughs> open as layers in Photoshop, and that will go to Photoshop. I'll hopefully bring both of them in because I am in survey view, and sometimes it only does single operation stuff in survey view. Nope, there we go, we got them. Okay. So we now have the layers loaded. So we have this layer here, which is our, these are actually in the right order for me as well, fortunately. And um, so we can see what we have there. We got to join these together. And can you imagine going through the process of masking that? How awkward that's going to be. This is how awkward it is. So I'm just going to use the lasso tool, which is L. I'm going to draw around the door, and then I'm just going to click for the mask. And that's obviously pretty ugly. But watch this. We just go down here to lighten, and that's it. We're done. If we turn on and off, we can see that only the additional lighting areas, the areas that are lighter in tone, get changed. So that is a super quick way of adding light. And you can use that in any situation where you have lighter parts that you need to combine. So it's not just for houses. It can be used for loads and loads of stuff. And I regularly use it for various different things. But it's a great little trick. So that is a quick tip for using light and mode with interiors. Of course, do the usual. Subscribe, like, all that kind of stuff. Thanks for watching this super short one.